there's a tripod! Oh no, wait. Yay. Hello guys, I am the Contained Theater Reviewer, and guess what? Happy Holiday Wishes! Yes, this is a holiday video! If you couldn't tell by the thing, it's a snowflake there, it's a snowflake there, it's a snowflake there, so many snowflakes it gives a damn benefit! So anyways, I am the Canadian Reviewer, doing a new video review for you guys, and you're probably thinking... Well, here we are, and we're going to drink some eggnog. Ooh, oh. And we're going to take a look at a Transformers Prime figure. This is Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Smeg Screen. Let's take a closer look at you. Well, here's Smoke Screen in his alt mode, and as you can see, he's a little sports car with some armor bits. Oh, I love how this background just falls. That's that's fantastic. But he's just a little sports car. Nothing really much going for there. So, you know, he's got some tires, and uh, I believe they are able to be popped off, but I would not recommend trying. And he does have the 38 on the side. Ooh, that's a number. But if you don't like the armor, this is going to blow your mind. It detaches. Nerd gas a moment. So yeah, if you don't like that, then you can remove that, or you can remove the little thing that was on the missile. Just have that as his weapon, which I like to do. I think that looks better than, you know, rubber mesh over here, and his pal, uh, rubber mesh net two guy. So, you know, it, it looks better in alt mode than it does in robot mode, so I'll probably display it more, if any... Uh, with it in alt mode Even though I display most of my transformers in their robot modes. It's still pretty cool. I like the yellow headlights I think that's fantastic. He could have used a different paint scheme a little bit more Touches would make this just a fantastic little figure, but we have rep labels for that uh, Just overall how I think of him as far as you know the alt mode. I think it's fantastic so yeah, not really that much of uh, the funny jokes. So, yeah. Um, that is all for the alt mode. I guess we'll go straight to the robot mode. Except for one thing, the missile fires. Bang. So, yep. Robot mode. Let's rotate the missile around. Robot mode! Oh, I love the uh, that one. Hey, uh, can I be prime now? No, your face is a face, and I already called dibs. I call next. All right, and here's smoke screen in his robot. But ah, I'm getting rid of it. Ah, 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 still on the gun. I should point out that uh, the ball joint in here is very loose. And, uh, yes, you can move the shoulders up and down. There's a little bit of a ball joint. Still really cool. Don't know why it's translucent yellow all the way on the back, but okay. Makes for a great light piping. Anyways, what I meant to say was, it's very loose he here. Actually, it's not loose. It's loose here. Right, right, right. But also, this doesn't really peg in well, so that's very loose. Yet, somehow, the elbow joint is a very nice ratchety joint. All right, here's Smoke Screen in the We're Not Gonna Feed Beast Hunters robot mode, and as you can see, it's actually fantastic. It's white. I would have liked a nice blue smoke screen to come out. I mean, wh why'd they come out with Prowl? But you know what? I'm not that, you know, too complainative. That's a word now. I am secretly a monkey. Boom, boom, boom. I also like how the doors move. You know, it has some little bit of articulation in there, and uh, it makes for great stuff with stop motion. You know, how the doors swing side to side. That's that's actually kind of cool. 
Swizzle, swizzle, quack, quack, swizzle, quack, swizzle, quack, quack, swizzle, quack. I can't rap. Yo, yo. So, I want to warn people that this blue could chip off. Mine seems uh, just fine, but it could easily chip off. So, I highly recommend checking out Reparole labels for the little custom little sticker decals. And I've seen the figure with the custom decals, and it looks a hundred times better. And uh, I just want to say to uh, the people who got the knockout repaint, <laughs> I waited. So, what's cool about this figure? Well, he's got yellow paint details to match the headlights. I would like clear plastic, but we're not all perfect. He is a little loose, especially in the legs. Look at that. And drop, and drop, 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 drop. So, yep, he's got quite big feet, which is a little odd, but I, I don't think it's too much of a problem. He does have these little car kibble pieces that stick out underneath his arm, but I kind of like them because they're kind of like blades, so that's, that's a little fun. You know, make uh, good for what you've got. He does have a little gun, which I would have preferred his arm missile thing, but uh, you can take that off, and I, I guess that's as close as you're ever going to get. It's not a bad-looking gun. The missile's a little obtrusive, but they wanted to attach the little Beast Hunter's kibble thing, which is odd, but okay. Now, I do like the little doors hanging off the side there or on the back, whatever you want to call it. I like this figure. I love this figure. I know a lot of people have complaints about this figure, but, you know, there's a lot of people who will customize this figure to uh, fit their every needs, and that speaks volume. I, I think people really like the smoke screen uh, figure and uh, character on Transformers Prime. I really love Transformers Prime. I, I will admit that. And uh, this figure, I, I think it really needs to be in more collections. It, it really does. It's got waist articulation. Ooh! So, absolutely fantastic figure. You gotta get this under your tree. Let's go to my overall review. Let's go so overall, do I highly recommend Transformers Prime Beast Hunter smoke screen? Absolutely. I think he's a fantastic figure. I don't know where the weapon is. The weapon is right here. Ooh, look at that. So, that is all now. I will see you guys next time. I'm the Canadian Reviewer. I'm gonna drink some eggnog and have some bacon. So, uh, there's lots of horrible figures, but, uh, I don't think we're really pinpointing the worst. The absolute worst figure of all time. Hey, uh, is this where I get my review? Oh my god, that's freaking horrible!